Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while and I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the new things that are coming to the shop. But before that, um, I just wanted to catch up with you. I think I haven't been on here for about two months now it was because i think almost to the day two months ago there was a disaster here and all of this entire shop area was pretty much flooded i talk about it more in the episode that i was in with the planner girl chatter podcast if you guys are not familiar with them i'll have the episode linked down below wherein i pretty much tell the story but if you're not into podcasts i will do like a little cliff notes of what happened and I think it was late really late May early June there was this huge like spring rain and in this direction over here um, there was pretty much little like pin size hole um, holes really holes and water just started dripping all over my desk and all of my stuff got wet and I am just pretty much in recovery mode had to replace a lot of my machines computer um, stock everything you could imagine that I needed for the shop including stocks that are already ready to ship so a lot of that I think is still a little um, what is this called like a progress so I am getting back to the hang of things but a lot of you guys that were watching my videos and also follow me on Instagram know what happened. Um, and so I pretty much took a two month break off of YouTube because I just couldn't sit here and just, you know, be all happy and jolly. I, I It was just kind of traumatic being on this desk, particularly because this was covered in water. All right, so um, today I wanted to share with you my new print impression planner. This is what it looks like. The pink was sold out by the time I picked this up. I wanted the gray, but I wanted something also classic, so I went with the black. You had the option to get the clear cover, which I did, and it's pretty similar to the Hobonichi one or the Hobonichi brand, but I feel like that one's a little thinner. So this is the clear cover. You had to purchase it for $5 extra. This is my print pressure cover that I plan to use it on, but the Hobonichi one is really, really like, a little bit thicker but it's very comparable i don't know if i'm gonna buy another acetate like this from rose colored days because i really really like how that turned out we do this i do have the original uh print impression cover that doesn't have the string on the inside so i don't know how this will work when it comes to putting both the clear cover and the Hobonichi because I know I had to trim down the Hobonichi brands to make it fit in the first place I do it like this <laughs> it's a struggle because it might rip the plastic there you go that's pretty much the easiest way to put the clear cover in yeah if you don't mind stretching the leather it will fit but if you also want to trim it, sure, you can do that too, but I don't think there's a lot of give. Yeah, the Proof Pressure Planner is a little, because it's synthetic, so I think, or synthetic letter, so you could kind of oops, squeeze it in. I'm scared that I ripped it. Nope, I did not. I could get it to fit there any further without ruining something. All right, so... That's a no. I think you guys should get the one with the string, but I think I'm just going to keep this um, out of the clear cover. I just wanted to get it to see how it goes, but yeah, no cover for me. But if you take your original print impression, just cover and use it on its own, it also fits really, really nicely. There we go. Ta-da! So this is my new print impression. Well, not new. You guys have seen this for a while. And then this new cover that I have on my Hobonichi is from Staples. The cover, I really like it. I actually prefer this over the faux leather. But this is a little bit grainy. But it's hard. It reminds me of the Boss Babe leather from Foxy Fix. Or like the... Even the Cambridge. So I think they're all the same type of leather but this is also faux I believe and it kind of matches my gentle navy um hobonichi so I decided to just 
keep it all blue and then my night print impression cover will go with the black print impression or pp weeks so anyways setting this up i think i'm just gonna keep it like this i really want to play with something decorative but this is also undated the paper is is not 28 pounds i don't think but it's smooth enough it reminds me of like a better quality than the happy planner papers and then it's not as thick as i thought it would be but it's not as thin as the hobonichi so you have i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven is that 13 so you could at least stay in here for an entire year and then i believe you have a lot of these um, weekly pages so if you guys can see that it is undated all of this entire planner is undated and there's a little bit of um the grid it's not dot grid it's just a square grid and then um these will fit your and Condren stickers, anything that is 1.5 width. So that includes also your Happy Planner stickers because they are the same width. And Happy Planner stickers will cover a lot of this more. I also came out with, uh, let me show you guys. Here we go. This is an example of our two page ones. So you could either get these a la carte or get them both as a set. So you get at least seven. One big habit tracker, your... Um, thick covers and then some these little like labels but yeah that's our like little mini kit for the pp weeks because that's the little nickname the community gave that planner and it's adorable um am i gonna give up my hobonichi for it i don't think so because i really really love the tomo river paper but also i have a love and hate relationship with that because it tends to smudge but um, I really like that this is vertical because I've been struggling with the horizontal view. So that's the kit that goes here. And then um, in the back, you do get a good amount of just regular grid paper. And then there's nothing else in the back. So, oh, you do get a little bit of just plain and then that's it but i believe in the front i didn't get to show you guys so you got the plain page and then the disc planner belongs to people do hand lettering there some vinyl and then you get another blank and then that's when the monthly starts speaking of the monthly i also have released by the time you guys watch this video monthly pages for or monthly sticker kits for the monthly pages there's 12 of them so there's january february March, um, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So I have all of these. Um, you can get them a la carte and also as a bundle. So you get the whole 12 set, but they are currently priced at $2 for $2 Tuesday. But by the time you guys see this video, they might just be a little bit more but not too expensive because the idea is that you can you know use this and cover up your entire month and also take it with you on the go because i did size these as like my hobonichi weeks sheet so they're good and travel friendly but i cannot wait to play with this i'm actually gonna film a few more videos right after i do this quick um it's not even quick a like first impression review i really really like it it did have a little bit of smell but i think that's just the manufacturer thing um it doesn't bother me but this feels like cloth more than um anything yeah like a fabric feel kind of velvety too but yeah so i hope you guys like this quick um update for me my new print impression and some new stuff from the shop i just wanted to do like a quick update with you guys and if you have questions let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to follow my social medias they will have um the handles will be linked down below and also subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye